As a fisherman, every lake we encounter helps shape us into who we are. Each lake leaves an impact, whether it's good or bad. This lake, however, is more than that. This lake is my home lake. This is a lake where I grew up. This is a lake where I fished my very first tournament. This is the first lake I ever won any money in. It holds a very special place in my heart. This lake is Rim Lake. Some love it, some hate it. To me, it's home. Trying to see if any of them's going that way. A couple of them. Hung up on fishing line. We're not gonna stay here long, just enough to make a couple casts. And... bluegill or a rock bass no it ain't I was gonna hit this last, but I didn't see anybody coming over here, so I thought we better hit it first. I like I had one for a second. I mean, the wind blowing in on a point like this, it should be there. Number one. Hey, this came off. All right. Hey, 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 hey. That's number two right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, but he, he's legal. Well, I think he came. I think he's keeping number two. Yep, he's keeper number two. Did he make it? Yep. Yeah. What? <sighs> that feels good to get that monkey off my back, dude. Holy crap. You have no idea how good that feels. I haven't caught a keeper bass in four tournaments. There's another one. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Uh, this tournament's too bad. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hey, no, you, it's, hey, it's your, it's yours just as much as it's ours, so. <laughs> we might win this thing. I know, we might win it. You'll make it. So I fish a lot of tournaments, and no joke, I fish four tournaments in a row without catching a keeper. I just caught two within three casts. Nice. Well, I knew they were playing right here. I just couldn't get to them, and I didn't know what they were fighting on. Dude. <laughs> That's pretty nuts. We're all about the same size, too. We got about six pounds. Dude, that felt so freaking good. I. All right. Hey, your turn to try Adam. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Hey, you guys have a great evening. It's it's a little warm, but that breeze feels pretty good. That's freaking insane. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple usually pretty good ones sometimes in there. Hey, what you doing? Eating dinner, what you doing? Fishing. No kidding. Well, we got three. Awesome, baby. I caught two keepers, literally like back-to-back -back cast. Hey, what time and where is what is that? Weigh-ins at eight. Uh... Oh, okay, that boat ramp. Yeah. Dude, it just feels good that I can catch a keeper again. If we can pick up one more, I'd feel even better. I think we're close now, to be honest. Be close. Oh, I can't pull. All right, last cast, and we have to go. Well, hopefully three is going to do it. There's a chance we can get up that way and still pick off a couple, but... I just don't want to be caught down this way with our pants down. Yeah. We're quite a ways from takeoff. Do 
you want to hold it right here? Do you want to like see the hole? Yeah. See if I can do something to kill myself. Watch how much you got. What you got? be enough. He ain't happy. Let's try it. Be close. Two fish total. Yeah, we'll try it. <laughs> we'll try one for big. Let's see. Sisney. Sisney. We'll find the biggest one in there. Is that it? Uh, Here, I'll hold that one if you want to hold the other one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I think it's that one. No one. Waiting one for Big Bass. No one. No one. 2.40. Hold that bag for me. No. No, he took off. He got me. 16. He's a good one. That's I didn't drop him. Yeah, we never did. 15 and a half. Three fish. All alive. Three good ones. No. Is that where you went? 5.82. 5.82. Three good ones. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Richardson and Leaper. Good job. Good job. In first place. Everybody to 5.82. Good job, guys. Five, five pounds are in Lake Bass tonight. So. so I forgot to film an intro for this video, but guys, we just pulled off the dub. My first ever tournament win. Um, just a little Tuesday night jackpot tournament on Rin Lake. It feels so good. Me and my best friend Anthony, we went out there and uh, we just did what we can do and we just grinded crankbaits along riprap all night. So that's what got it done. That's what I thought it could have got it done Saturday. So it felt good to go from not catching a single fish Saturday, doing something completely opposite to grinding it out and uh, catching them like I know how tonight. So after just a honestly a ferocious couple months of fishing for me where i just couldn't get a keeper in the boat to save my life it felt very good to catch two keepers in a tournament tonight anthony caught a keeper had three total we ended up only having like five pound like 5.82 pounds or something like that so you know it's just they don't take much to win on rin on a hot summer afternoon it really don't so felt great 
Um, can't thank you guys enough for all the support, the continued support. Couldn't do it all without you guys. It's just, it's amazing. It's a great feeling tonight. It just truly feels like I got that monkey off my back. It's been weighing me down for several weeks now. Tonight was redemption. Tonight was truly redemption night. That's the whole reason why I wanted to fish this tournament. I messaged Anthony a couple nights ago. I was like, hey, I feel like I know how to catch them. Let's go hop in this tournament. Let's go get some redemption. So it felt great. I didn't think I'd win it, that we would win it, because it was definitely a team effort. It just wasn't me. I want to make that clear. It was definitely both of us. And our minds put together. We're a great team, and hopefully we can jump in some team tournaments here in the next year or so and uh, wreak some havoc. So, But, no, tonight was definitely a team effort. So I just can't thank him enough, can't thank the good Lord enough, can't thank all of you guys enough. It's just, it's unreal. So even though it's just a Tuesday night jackpot tournament, it truly feels like I won, a, won the biggest tournament of my life right now just because all that, you know, all that pressure that I've had to keep catch a keeper the past month or so just seemed like I'd never get another keeper in the boat and to catch two and two back-to-back -back cast or almost back-to-back -back cast so the one was foul hooked when I got it in but it was in its mouth and it popped out and somehow hooked it in the belly so thankfully that happened like thankfully you know thankfully that hook dug in elsewhere I wouldn't have got that one so so that's pretty much it I know it's kind of hard to see me and this ain't the best way to wrap up a great series of videos I feel like but hey we got the dub so <laughs> It's, it feels good. So, um, I didn't know how this series was going to turn out. Didn't know how it was going to end, but I feel like this is the perfect way to end it. So, thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned. God bless you. I'll catch you next time.